Urban Legend with Levens, you know what it is, bro? Let's talk about it. Rick Ross was out doing a show in Vancouver, Canada last night, and some OVO goons, allegedly OVO goons from Drake's camp, rolled up on him while he was playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us in Canada, and they told him to cut the song off, and he did not cut the song off, and it ended up turning into a brawl, where it looked like Rick, Rick Ross got punched in the mouth, man. 50 Cent has reacted to this. I'm going to show you guys everything that 50 had to say. Check this video out first. This is the first thing that I saw 50 post about this. Check it out right here. Hey, guys. You know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada. And I want to say to everyone, you know, that I, um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the, uh, the dream chasers or um, <laughs> the 305 killers. <laughs> All right, man, so there you guys have it. You knew 50 was going to have a field day with this. We all knew it. He also posted this video of Rick Ross, um, you know, pretty much backing out of the fight. Looked like he was running away. And 50 said, LMAO, the great escape. Mika, call the chasers. They are chasing me. LOL. So, you know, 50 is always going to have jokes and he's going to be uh, funny on the internet when situations like this happen. And obviously, there's no love lost between Rick Ross and 50 Cent. If you remember, Rick Ross and um, Meek Mill were dissing 50 Cent when they were dropping that Shaq and Kobe song and rolling out their, their project. Um, so they had a lot to say about 50 being broke and different things like that. So obviously, 50 heard that. And over the years, the last decade or so, uh, you know, those two have been dissing each other. So that's what it is, man. He also reposted this video from Tia Kemp, who was 50 Cent's uh, homegirl, but also Rick Ross' baby mama. Because if you guys remember, maybe a decade and a half ago, 50 Cent took her shopping when Rick Ross and uh, 50 was first starting their little beef. Now, Tia posted this video right here on the internet, and 50 Cent responded to it. Check it out. This ain't throwing no blows. Man, where they swung on your face? You ain't done. You stood your face back, man. Your scary shit. Your beef ass ass stood back. I'm looking good down from this angle. They got this guy back, man. He tried to, oh, they kicking a shit out that security. And his fat up. So that's the video that she posted. 50 Cent reposted it and said, my guess is you won't be going to Canada acting like it ain't what it is. LOL. Um, Obviously, you know, 50 and Tia have some type of friendship because, you know, they did the, the book together. 50 Cent got her a publishing deal back in the day and helped her put her book out. Um, and then we all know the song, you won't believe what Tia told me, Officer Ricky. <laughs> we remember that song from 50 Cent. So, um, that's who, that's the same Tia that 50 Cent is responding to. That's what he had to say about this whole situation. That's all I got for you guys. Urban Legend with Levens, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here.